Now, the Red Cross is assisting those victims along with the PBTA. And 22 News reporter Hector Molina is live at the South End Citizens Council with more information on how they're That's assisting. Right, Matt. Hours after their home was destroyed by the fire, many who were displaced found comfort here at the South End Citizens Council in Springfield. Springfield Fire Commissioner B.J. Calvi told 22 News between 60 and 80 people were displaced by the fire. The South End Citizens Council is being used as a service delivery site where Red Cross volunteers and caseworkers are working with the victims to get them out of the cold and figure out a plan for each of them. The Red Cross is providing clothing, food, water, and toys for the kids. Mayor Dominic Sarnell told 22 News that the city of Springfield and the PBTA will be helping with their relocation. Red Cross Disaster Program Director Mary Nathan told 22 News that the city decided a shelter will not be open for those displaced. There was talk of, of opening a shelter. We've been working with the city officials, the mayor, and uh, his, his team. And at this point, we've decided that it would be best if we seek um, alternative lodging for the people, so we're working on that. So there will not be a communal shelter open. Those possible alternative sites include hotels and homes of family and friends of those displaced. Now, once the fire marshal says the building is safe, the PVTA, the Red Cross, and the city of Springfield will be providing transportation for the victims so they can go back into the building and try to recover any of their belongings. We're live in Springfield tonight. Hector Molina, 22 News.